Good day learners. This is a question 3.3 from November 2015 paper 1. It is a very nice and challenging question that I thought I'd do for you guys. Okay, read as follows. One second after ball A was projected upwards at a velocity of 16 meters per second, a second ball B is thrown vertically downwards at a velocity of 9 meters per second from a balcony 30 meters above the ground. Refer to the diagram below and calculate how high above the ground ball A will be at the instant the two balls pass each other. Okay, let's look at the individual motions of these two balls. When ball A is thrown at a velocity of 16 meters per second upwards, we wait one second and then throw ball B at 9 meters per second. So let's, let's check it out. You can see the time delay. Let's look at that again. You can see they pass each other at some point when ball A is um, going upwards just before it turns back down. Okay, let's look at how we solve this question. Remember the first thing you want to do always is to choose your direction before solving any physics question basically so in this case i'll choose upwards as positive and i'm going to illustrate what happens here so we throw ball a and then we throw ball b one second later they meet at a certain point and i stop it here because we are interested in this instant when they pass each other so i'm going to label that point when they pass each other from the ground to that position I'm going to call it y and then my question to you guys is what is the distance from the point where ball b was released to the position where they are at the same point so we look at the height of the building it's 30 meters and from the ground to that position it's y so what is the other displacement that you are missing there in terms of y is going to be 30 minus y so you can do your maths there and then just for reference purposes, I will name these positions. So position where A was thrown up, I'll call it position X. The position where they meet each other or they pass each other, I'll call it position Y. And the position where B was released, I'll call it position Z. So what I want us to do first is to define the time ball A is from position X all the way to position Y. So that is the time A is in the air and then Go and relate that to the time when ball B was at position Z all the way to position Y. So that is the change in time for ball B. I'll let the time when ball A is in the air, that is from position X to position Y, B. So change in T A, I'll let that be change in T. So this means the time it took ball B to go from position Z to position Y in terms of changing t is going to be changing t minus 1 because ball b was in the air one second less than ball a okay then i'm going to write an equation for changing y for ball a using the equation changing y equals to initial velocity times changing t of a plus half of a changing t of a squared when we substitute we know that the change in displacement for A is positive Y. And then the initial velocity, since it's going up and we chose up as positive, it's positive 16. We multiply that by change in T, which is the time it took ball A to go from position X to position Y, plus half of our acceleration in this case is negative 9.8 because we chose up as positive and acceleration is always going down it doesn't matter whether the ball is going up or down acceleration is always pointed down in the direction of gravity then we multiply that by change in t squared and if we simplify that we get y equals to 16 change in t minus 4.9 change in t squared and i'll let that be equation one then i move over to ball b I write the same equation because I'm given the same data as ball A. 
So change in YB equals to velocity initial of B times the change in T of B plus one half of acceleration times the change in T squared of B. Remember what change in TB is. And remember change in YB is the displacement. Displacement is a vector. So that is why we have a negative because ball B is displacing in the negative direction from position Z to position Y. So there I have 30 minus Y negative in front. Then my initial velocity is negative 9 for ball B. Why? Because ball B was thrown downwards at 9 meters per second. And we chose up as positive. That is why we, we substitute as negative. Our change in TB is going to be change in T minus 1. Plus half of acceleration is going down and we chose up as positive. So we have negative 9.8 into our change in TB is substituted by change in T minus 1. And don't forget the squared. When we simplify that, we get y equals to 34,1 plus 0, 0,8 change in t minus 4,9 change in t squared. So you can go and check for yourself, do the long math, and then you'll get the same expression. Then I'll call that equation 2. Now if I equate equation 1 and 2, I can solve for change in t, which is the time it took ball a to go from position x to position y then let's equate 16 change in t minus 4.9 change in t squared from equation 1 equals to 34,1 plus 0, 0,8 change in t minus 4.9 change in t squared from equation 2 both of these expressions were equal to y so we equate y equals to y you remember Martinez equations that you did from grade 10 now, if you check, negative 4.9 change in t appears on both sides, which means we can cancel it. Or you can bring them to one side and you'll see that the other one is negative, the other one is positive, which means they add down to zero. Then if you take all the terms of change in t to one side and leave all the numbers on the other side, we get 15,2 change in t equals to 34,1. And if we divide by 15,2 both sides, we get our change in t is 2,24 seconds. Then now we want to take equation 1 that solves the change in y from the ground to the position where the balls pass each other. And substitute in the time it takes for ball a to go from position x to y. Then this gives us y a from the ground is equal to 16 into 2,24 where there will be change in t minus 4.9 into 2,24 squared. Then we get that the distance from the ground to the instant where the two balls pass each other is equal to 11,25 meters. And that's how you are supposed to solve this question. If you have more questions, please comment. If you like anything or dislike anything on this video, please tell me down in the comments. And don't forget to like the video, guys, and also share it with your friends. Most importantly, please subscribe. Never watch a video without subscribing, guys. So if you want to join our classes, make sure you send a WhatsApp. Okay, see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.